Hello everyone, this is Christy and today I'm going to just show you uh, how I designed my badges for my videos that I use on the videos to slide in and out with my logo and my picture and also they have my name and my website address. So this is a very simple graphic project. I'm going to let you watch over my shoulder as I do it. It's very easy. I use Zara, which is my favorite design uh, program to use. It can do graphics and bitmap editing, but mostly graphics, uh, vector graphics. And it really allows me to do anything I can think of in terms of graphic design, logos, branding and all that stuff. So I'm uh, using this every time I start a design project, I just start with Zara. And uh, although I use uh, the version seven now here, um, they are uh, much more updated now. There is a newer version, designer, designer pro and all that. So they, they can do everything I show you here. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new document here. I'm going to zoom in a bit just to have a white page on, on this. And I'm going to just close the panel with the font here. And the first thing I want to do is import the assets that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use my picture and my logo. So I have already opened them here. They're in, in, a, in another file. So I have the picture here. I'm going to just uh, copy and paste it in my new document. Not a very good picture, but anyway, that's good enough. And then this is my logo and um, I don't need the part with the text here. I'm just going to separate that and just use the, the, the graphic in, in, in the logo. So I'm just going to move that away and um, I'm just going to cut it off and paste it in my new document. Sorry, that, that's my new document here. So I, I have these two things here and I'm going to use them for creating my badges. So I'm just going to put them to one side now. And the first thing is I'm going to just create the badge with the avatar or the picture and the logo as a round rounded um, rounded badge. So I'm going to use the uh, gra the rectangle tool and if you hover it, you can see circle and star quick shape. And I'm going to just choose the ellipse tool. And as I drag, you can see it creates a circle. No problem here. Now my circle is black. So what I want to do is I want to change the fill on this circle to be bitmap so that I can put my picture in it. So with the circle selected, I'm going to the uh, fill, fill tool here on the left. And I'm going to select from the option bar, I'm going to just select bitmap. This fills my circle with a default um, bitmap uh, that doesn't do anything really. So all I have to do is now just put the image inside it. So what I'm going to do is I can't actually drag the image on top of it because it's actually considered a different object. So I'm going to use the, f the bitmap gallery on the, on the right there. That's the bitmap gallery. I'm going to just make it uh, pin it so it stays there. Okay. So because my circle fill type is now a bitmap. All I can do is, is, is you can just drag this image on top of it and you can see the cursor changes to a, to an arrow with a rectangle and as I drop it down it fills the circle. I can adjust the size, the zooming in, but I don't want to do it too much because I can see the edges. So I'm just going to leave it at uh, just about filling the whole the, the whole circle with it. Okay. All right. So that's good. And now, as you can see now, it doesn't have a, it doesn't. The next thing I want to do is uh, I want to do a border. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to just create a circle. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not going to do that now. So I'm just going to delete this. I don't need that anymore. And as you can see now, I want to have a white a white uh, border around this. So with the circle selected, um, I can go to the circle tool and at the top there, there's the line width selection. All I have to do is maybe try eight pixels. That seems okay. And I don't want it to be black. So what I want to do is I want to go to the color bar below, still keeping the circle selected. And in the color bar, I right click on the white color and select select set line color. Uh, let me just uh, move this up so you can see it properly. So it's not off screen. So I'm going to the, to the, the color bar on the white color, uh, selecting my circle, right click and say set line color. And that makes the line white. I could use other colors. Maybe let's try this blue thing, line color. Yeah, no, not good purple something. No, let's let's make it white like this. Okay, so now my circle has a white 
thick white um, border around it. Let me just move my window back down here. Okay. Right. So that's that's what I need for now. And uh, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so it fits in here. Now, the other thing I need to do is create the gray the gray bar that the the graphic and the text sit on. So I'm going to use for that the rectangle tool from the quick shape. Just go to the quick shape, select the rectangle tool and just really just drag drag a rectangle like this around it. Don't, don't worry about the the, the uh, corners and the color and okay so it's black now and um, I want to move that to the background so that I can see my, my image. So I'm just going to right click on this and say arrange put two back. This may, this moves the um, moves that rectangle in the background okay behind my uh, my picture here. So, okay. Now I don't like the fact that this is um, this is not rounded. I want to round it to be exactly like going around my circle here. So all I have to do is that just go back to the rectangle tool, and you notice that now the handles on the corners have changed, and that the selection for curved corners is selected. Okay. All I have to do now is just uh, drag either of these anchors. You see the ones that are on the on the corners here. Okay. If I drag them you can see the roundness of the corner changes. Now that happens on all corners the same way. So if I go too far, then that's too sharp. So I'll just have to visually kind of, you know, do it like that. You can see that there's a number here. You can, you can, uh, you can kind of play with it, uh, see if it, if it works better, but I actually like to do it visually. So here we are. Uh, my uh, my circle is right, aligning perfectly with that um, that rectangle in the background. Now I don't want that one to be uh, black, so I'm going to use one of these lighter gray colors. I'm just going to use the first. No, sorry. I was. Uh, I, I have to select the rectangle first and then choose this very light very light gray here. Okay, so we're getting there. Now I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Okay, and now I'm going to put here my name and website. So I'm just going to choose the text tool, click on, on there and just type my name and my website. Here we go. Now, that's obviously too small. As you use the selection tool, you have these anchors for resizing. If you click again, you have the anchors for rotating stuff, okay? So I'm just going to zoom in, uh, not zoom in actually, drag this to make it larger like that. And I don't like this font, so I'm going to change the font to another one that I like. So I'm going to just go here to the fonts gallery and you can you can see the font that I used before it's remembered here so I'm just going to double click on that when you do that and the text is selected it changes the font to to that particular font there okay now I don't like that the website is actually longer than my name so I'm going to make the choose the text selection tool and I'm going to select this text on the second row and the size at the top is is there 28.98 I can choose maybe 24. That's that's better. Okay, so now my name is at, is larger than the um, than the website. And finally, I want to change the color. So I want to make it all red. So I'm going to select that. Um, and using the using the red color there, I can just click on it. Use a shade of red. Or if I want to, let me let me make it this black. If I want my text to actually match the color in my um, in my logo, all I have to do is just click on the text and then I can use this eyedropper tool, color picker, sorry, the color picker tool. I, I can just take it in my hand with the click and go and put it on top of a color I want to capture. So in this, in this example, I want to capture the color from my logo, the red in my logo, or I could, I could get the, um, the orange maybe from there you see the orange so I'm just going to use the red one and 
actually my uh, my actual uh, badge actually includes the color from my t-shirt so I just want to change the color of my name to match my t-shirt so I'm just gonna select the text tool select that text just the line of, of my name again use the color picker tool and go to my t-shirt and just pick it up so there we go the text is blue or we're dark blue or something and then the name of the website is red so I kind of like the size of, of everything okay so now that's one badge done and if you've watched any of my past videos you may have seen that I actually exchanged these two I interchanged them so I go first I show my picture with the name and then a few seconds later I put the logo here okay so I want to create a version of this that has the logo as well okay so just to make sure that they're all the same size I can just select the whole group here and I will uh, I can either group it make it a group uh, just to keep it together or I can uh, make it make a copy so that I can work on that one so in the uh, edit menu you have duplicate objects or you can press Control alt D and that's going to make a copy of the whole uh, the whole thing. I'm just going to move that up there, okay? And I'm going to leave the other one alone and work on the copy. So I'm just going to um, ch select the, this circle here. I don't need it to have my picture in this version. So with the circle selected, I'm going to the fill tool and I'm going to change the bitmap fill to be flat fill okay and I don't want it to be black either so I'm gonna click down here on the white color with my le left click and that made the circle white all right and I can now take my logo you notice it's behind it so I can right click on my logo and I'm gonna say arrange bring to front okay so that puts it here it's a bit large I'm going to use the scale tool. If you want to scale things equally from all sides, when you scale, you just hold down the shift key, you know. I this is this doesn't hold the key down, but if the, but this one holds the key down so it all zooms in and out. All right. So that's kind of nice if you want to visually make sure that it's perfectly in the center. I don't know if this image actually works in the center because it's a bit wonky, but you can select both of them like this the circle and the logo and you can press Control shift L which means object alignment okay so I can change on it horizontally I want them to center to be centered and vertically as well when I click apply the logo is moved to the center you may have seen let me just undo so the way that I put it wasn't exactly in the center but you know aligned properly so I've selected centrally and centrally and I click apply so now it's moved it where it thinks visually it's kind of in the middle uh, but I don't really agree with that because it does it mathematically by dimension but you, you can see that the wheel here is actually closer to the edge than the top so I want to visually move, move it back where it was so that there is equal spacing around it, more or less. Okay, now I'm happy with this. So therefore, I have here two versions of the badge. All I have to do now is just export both of them. And the way that I export them is because I want to put them on the video, on top of videos, and because of the rounded edges, I want the video to be seen to be uh, to be seen around it and below it so I don't want to I don't want to export it as a JPEG because if I do then this rounded corner here is not going to be visible it's all going to be white okay so if I put it on top of a video uh, footage it's not going to look uh, the effect that I want so I what I will have to do is export as a PNG uh, with with transparency so I'm going to select them. Uh, I'm going to export them one at a time, and I'm going to select the the first group and go to the file and then export. You can select export PNG, but I just do export. And here I select PNG and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say badge with logo. 
All right, batch with logo, export. Now I have some options here and Zara gives you a preview. You need to make sure that the color depth is true color plus alpha. Alpha is the transparency. If you don't select alpha, let me show you. If I just select true color, then that doesn't export the transparency channel. So therefore you're gonna, you can see now that the corner is filled with white. So obviously that is against what we wanted in the first place, okay? And so therefore I need to do color and alpha, okay? And then you choose the, the size you want. Now before I export, I realized I forgot to actually make the, the, the right side of this whole thing longer because I wanted to kind of slide in from the right side of my video and stay there for a second or, or for a few seconds and then go out again. So actually, I don't want the um, the right side to be seen in my videos. So because of that, I need to give it a longer, uh, I don't actually know how, how much I, I wanna slide them in. So all I, I have to do here uh, is just to select both of these um, backgrounds, the, the gray backgrounds, and um, I'm gonna, you can use the shift tool, yeah, click on the first one and keep holding down the shift tool and select the second one, okay, and I'm gonna just drag to the right, I selected both of them because I want to expand both of them by the same amount so that they are identical. So therefore, I'm going to just I'm going to just, you know, do it double, double, the, double the width. OK, and now I can go back, select everything, file, export, and I'm going to type again uh, badge with logo. All right. And now you can see my 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 end side my the right side here is longer and the left side has my graphic so it's 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 941 pixels uh, let's just choose a, a an, an even a thousand there I can click on these tabs again to see uh, the options and make sure transparent is selected there and when you're happy just click export and I'm gonna do the same with the second one with my image on it select everything and file export or shift control e okay and i'm going to call it badge with photo export i'm not changing the size i'm not changing the transparency everything is the same export that so there we go we've done it so you've seen uh, how i've designed it it's very easy you can see how easy it is to work with zara um, you can buy it. I think it's fifty-nine dollars. I think for the uh, the the version that allows you to do all of this stuff. And uh, really, I use it for every uh, graphic pro uh, project that I start. I always start it in Zara, if even if it's just for a, a, a quick sketch or or something. And it's very light, very fast, and uh, it works great. I've been using it for about twenty years now. So there you have it. I hope this uh, gave you some inspiration or some uh, help in figuring out how to do it.